All right, my name is Nicole. I'm a choir here at the Estuarium, and my main responsibility um, is taking care of all the animals that we find in the bay. And one of those guys is this diamondback terrapin turtle. Um, so these are, terrapin is essentially another word for turtle. Um, it just uh, means turtles that live in the marshes. So this is the only species in North America that we know of that live primarily in the salt marsh. Now this guy is a male. Males get about five and a half inches long or their shell length. Females can get twice as large as that. So they have a max of about 10 to 11 inches. Now these guys, I'm holding them with a towel because these guys have really strong legs. Um, that's good for swimming against all the tidal currents. Um, of course now he's not kicking. But yeah, they got really strong back legs and they have some nails on there too that are kind of sharp. It can't hurt me, but it's more comfortable with the towel. These guys also have really strong beaks, and that's what their mouth is. Um, their my main food source in the marsh is going to be uh, crustaceans, so they eat a lot of crabs um, and shrimp, and they also eat uh, the fish that you would find in the marsh as well. So um, diamondback terrapins have a pretty wide range in the U.S. They, you can find them all the way up in Cape Cod, Massachusetts all the way down through the Gulf of Mexico over to Corpus, Chris, Corpus Christi, Texas. Um, now these guys uh, are also um, threatened or endangered. Um, there's not as many as there were in the 20th century and that's because they became very popular for turtle soup. Um, so they were really um, hunted. But now we have a lot of protections in place for them. They are mostly um, banned from hunting in, the U in most of the states. However, they still have some threats to their population. Um, so they, uh, raccoons dig up the nests and they feast on the eggs and the young, as well as other predators. Um, birds, especially when they hatch, eat the babies. However, we do have programs in place uh, for helping these guys. We actually have a professor at UAB who is working with terrapins. He collects females that have eggs in the spring and he has any takes care of the eggs at his lab. They hatch them and they take care of them for about a year or two before they release them back into the wild. So we've seen quite a big population increase in recent years from his work. Okay. So we have two students just to give a shout out. Leo and Isabella, they're in Oxford, Alabama watching. Okay. And then Aubrey has a question. Why do they have spots? Um, that is just a uh, their coloration so um, it's really pretty and this just kind of makes them unique to all of their turtles and really easily identifiable and all of them have different spot patterns so each individual has a different pattern and a slightly different coloration and especially their shells are all different as well and that's how you can tell individuals apart from each other very cool do you know how hard a shirt a turtle shell is and what it's made of so turtle shells are made of keratin. It's a type of protein, it, what makes up our hair and nails. Um, and it's, it's pretty hard. Um, it's, I mean, it's not the hardest material, it's not diamonds, um, but it protects them very well from any of the predators that they might come across. Lillian in second grade wants to know, how do they protect themselves? Well, like I just said, the shell um, does a really good job of protecting them. They can bring their legs and their heads completely inside their shell. Um, and that's kind of just protects them from anyone that might want to try to nibble on them. <laughs> Tracy asks, where do they nest? They nest on the beaches. So there's a kind of shell hash, sandy beaches in the marshes, right at the height of the high tide mark. And the females will dig a nest uh, about a foot down and they'll lay um, a clutch of eggs. It's about 10 to 20 eggs at a time. Uh, London second grade, Jennings first grade, would like to know how many eggs they lay at a time. As I just said, the egg, the number of eggs is about 15, uh, 10 to 20, average about 15. Most research shows that they lay one clutch a year, but however, there are some places, I think in New York, they've found that they actually lay two uh, nests a year. Lisa says hi from Michigan, and then Ashley says she's in Selma with three students. Crawford 7, Kennedy 7, and Jack 5. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hello from Fairhope. And then Christy wants to know, where can turtles be found? 
Turtles can be found throughout like all of our aquatic environments. So we have freshwater turtles. The most common obviously are things like the red ear sliders. Um, so those guys hang out in ponds and rivers. Then we've got these guys, they hang out in the salt marsh. And then we've got all the way into the ocean, we have sea turtles, like green sea turtles or leatherback sea turtles. Uh, Paul in second grade, he wants to know what kinds of birds eat them? Do birds eat turtles? So not these big guys, not the full grown. However, there is some predation on newly hatched terrapins, um, mostly your uh, birds that you'll find in the marsh, like your blue heron. Okay, from Kentucky and Missouri. So what about their beak? How strong is it? Are they snapping turtles? They are not snapping turtles by definition. However, all turtles have a really strong bite um, and they have a beak. They don't really have teeth, um, but they can crack through shells of their prey like crabs. So it's quite strong. Um, we have the question again, and if you can answer it again. Sure. What their shell is made of? Their shell is made of keratin, and that's a type of protein, um, and that's what's used to make hair and nails in humans as well. Okay. Do you know what a nest looks like? Leo wants to know. I personally have not seen a nest. Um, however, I imagine it would look similar to a sea turtle's, um, but the eggs are buried in the sand and shell hash, um, so it would kind of look like you would see the turtle footprints going up to it and then you'd see the sand kind of all moved around because they dig the hole, lay their eggs, and then cover it back up. Jessica says, hello from Jacksonville. Her favorite place on Dolphin Island is here. <laughs> and Ava in fifth grade from Pike Road, Alabama wants to know how old the one you're holding is. We are not sure how old he, was, how old he is. Um, we've had him a good number of years, um, about 10 years. They can live in the wild about 25 years but they have been known in captivity to reach about 40 years. Very cool. What do turtles eat? Hudson in first grade wants to know. Yeah, they eat quite a variety of things. They're gonna take advantage of whatever they come across in the salt marsh. Mostly they eat crabs and shrimp. They also eat a variety of fish that you find in the salt marsh. Um, so your um, sailfin mollies and marsh top minnows, little small fish like that. Landon, Caleb, and Owen from Mississippi would like to know how fast they swim. Do you know? Can I don't know. <laughs> um, we, that's a good question. They have very strong back legs with huge paddles on them, and they're very webbed. If I can get him to have his little leg come out. Nope, he wants to hide him now. See, that's how they protect themselves. But they have very strong back legs, very webbed, very wide, and they can swim very fast because they're always fighting the tides that are going in and out of the marsh and the, any other currents that you find there as well. Lyndon would like to know how large do they grow? Um, so this guy is fully grown. The males reach about five and a half inches long. That's the length of their shell. And then the females get about twice this size. Um, the, the females average about nine to ten inches but can reach about eleven. Um, and I think you just said it, but is the turtle you're holding male or female and how do you tell the difference? Yep, so this guy is a male. Um, for full-grown turtles, the size is definitely what gives them away because the females are twice as long. However, females also have uh, a little bit wider heads and shorter tails, and they kind of have a taller shell. Um, Isabella, first grader, wants to know what is their favorite food and who their predators are? Yeah, so their favorite food... It's kind of hard to say what an animal's favorite food is. In the wild, probably um, fiddler crabs, just they're very high in abundance in the marsh um, and pretty easy to catch for them. Um, but here we feed this guy a lot of silver sides, so that's kind of his favorite. Um, let's see. Allie, Olivia, and Davis, they want to come hold and touch him when the social distancing <laughs> is over. Yeah. Uh, Isabella, first grade, wants to know what it, oh, we talked about one, how long? <laughs> How long can they stay on sand and in the water? So do they have to come up on land? Yep, so these guys do breathe air. All turtles breathe air. Um, so they do have to come up to the surface of water. However, they, don't meet, they do bask in the sun, so they'll come up for that. But they can spend quite a bit of time in the water, as long as it's shallow enough for them to stand in order to get air when they need it. Um, Lottie, who's three, wants to know, how can turtles really ride alligators' backs? <laughs> so alligators are, um, stay really still the majority of the time. 
Um, so turtles basically use them like a log, and they just climb up on their backs, and that's how they bask in the sun. So as long as the alligator stays still, they just hang out on them. Uh, Aubrey wants to know, how are they related to box turtles that we see crossing the road? Um, I don't know the direct correlation. Um, they are related to a certain extent. However, box turtles are one of the freshwater turtles. Um, you're not really going to find them in similar habitats. Uh, box turtles will be um, definitely around ponds and things like that. And let's go back to some people may have missed it. Are they endangered and how many exist? Um, I don't know the full population numbers. Uh, they have been listed as endangered in different states. Um, however, they're mostly just threatened now because they have had some population recovery. We are no longer hunting them for turtle soup. Um, and there are a lot of programs in place in order to help them thrive. Like how I mentioned, the professor at UAB who is uh, raising the turtle babies and then releasing them a couple years later. Carrie wants to know, are turtles really slow like in the fable? They are not really. They can move a lot faster than you would think. Um, and, but it's really up to them how they want to move and where they want to move. So if you did races um, or things like that, it, it's hard to say how fast they move because it would be up to their own determination. But they can move pretty quick. Um, obviously, you want to move quick in order to escape anybody that might threaten them. Um, and Leah wants to know, I think we talked on this one too, how long can they hold their breath underwater, do you know? That is a good question. It definitely varies by turtles. So um, sea turtles can hold their breaths quite a bit longer because they are diving to deeper depths. Um, this guy, I'm not sure. Um, I would imagine it's probably for a few minutes. Uh, Candy and Crawford want to know, does he have a name? This guy does not have a name. We don't usually name our animals here. Um, we don't like to think of them as pets. Um, but he is really cute, and he is one of my favorites here. And he is lazy, isn't he? He is super lazy, especially after he gets a good amount of fish. He'll climb up on his basking log and hang out there um, sleeping most of the day, usually in strange positions, hanging with his head over the edge, almost looking like he's dead. But he isn't. He's just taking a good nap. And we have some of those pictures we'll yes. share. Um, <laughs> and then, so, do you, you said you had some food with you. Do you want to I do, out? absolutely. Let's see if he's interested. Mm. Yeah, if you could. So I'm going to get a piece out. Now, like I said, they have really strong beaks. Um, so we don't, don't want to use my hands. So I'll use these tongs in order to feed them as fish. Usually I do this inside the tank, so it's a little bit easier to handle, but there he goes. Oh, he's a chomper. Yeah. And what is this you're feeding him? Is it silver This is a cut up silver side. Silver side. Mm-hmm. What about the friends in his tank? Does he ever go after them? Yeah, so a lot of these fish are gonna be similar to what these terrapins will see in the wild. Um, but he does not. Uh, they, we keep them well fed here with the fish. And also, usually when they're hunting, they're getting animals that are caught in low tide. Um, so there's a good amount of water in here that these fish can easily swim away from him. Cody says, hey, from Elba, Alabama. And then Paul from second grade, do turtles have other defenses than their shells? Um, they do have some nails on their feet. Um, those are pretty strong. That's why I'm using this towel to hold him. And then of course their mouths. They can uh, take a good chunk out of someone. <laughs> well, Nicole, we appreciate it. Um, if anybody has any questions, they can always jump in um, and you'll jump online and answer any questions that people have. And Absolutely. Then, what are we doing Friday? On Friday, Carissa is gonna talk about the octopus. Yay, <laughs> fun stuff. All right, well, Nicole, thank you so much for You're all welcome. your time this morning. Um, and we're gonna say bye.